House Slint are a recently formed house who for a very brief time were Lords of Harrenhal before being stripped of that title and given new lands. It is debatable if they should be considered members of the Riverlands or the Crownlands as their first seat of Harrenhal, which they only held for a short time, is located in the Riverlands, with their new lands seemingly located in the Crownlands. But there is an argument that can be made that as the house originated from King's Landing, the Crownlands should be given more prominence in their history. Their blazon is a bloody spear, gold, on a field of night black with a border of checkered gold and black with their motto currently not known to us. The house was created when King Joffrey I Baratheon ennobled Janos Slint, the commander of the city watch at King's Landing, and named him the Lord of Harrenhal for services rendered to the kingdom, namely for portraying Eddard Stark during his attempt to take Joffrey into custody after the death of King Robert Baratheon. The lands and incomes of Harrenhal are supposed to pass to Janos' descendants when he dies. Janos was born the son of a butcher in King's Landing. While the captain of the Iron Gate, he was raised to the Lord Commander of the City Watch the so-called Gold Cloaks. After the death of the previous Lord Commander, during his rule as Commander of the Gold Cloaks, Janos was known for taking bribes and selling positions and promotions. By the end of his tenure, over half the officers were paying him part of their salaries. Lord John Arryn, at the hand of the King for Robert I Baratheon, discovered this and had two men who were willing to come forward to testify against Slint. But both of these men were found dead a short time later. King Robert acknowledged Janos's corruption but allowed him to remain in position arguing that his successor could be worse. The king's brother, Lord Stannis Baratheon, found Lord Peter Baelish had convinced Robert to retain Janos. After he is raised to the lordship of Harrenhal, Janos laughs when Sir Barristan Selmy is dismissed and replaced as Lord Commander the Kingsguard. After Barristan records his own dismissal in the White Book and gathers his possessions in the White Sword Tower, he is confronted by Janos and three gold cloaks in the stables of the Red Keep. The seasoned knight, only armed with a knife, escapes them, killing one gold cloak and riding through Janus and the other two. The commander sends men in his pursuit, but Barristan the Bold overcomes the guards at the mud gate and kills one of his pursuers before managing to flee King's Landing. Later, at the Great Sept of Baelor, Janos and Sir Ilan Payne follow King Joffrey's orders to execute Lord Eddard Stark, with Janos displaying Eddard's head to the crowd. Lord Tywin Lannister is angered when he learns of the granting of Harrenhal to Janos, the son of a butcher. He orders his son, Tyrion to go to King's Landing and act as Hand of the King in his absence, with the task to solve this problem. During the events of A Clash of Kings, Janos's son, Morris Slint, rides in the tourney on King Joffrey's name day, where he is unhorsed by Sir Balon Swamp, with the War of Five Kings in full swing. Janos is as of yet unable to go to his seat of Harrenhal, given its position in the Riverlands. He sits on the small council when Tyrion Lannister arrives in King's Landing, when sent by his father to act as Hand of the King in his place. After learning of the kind of man Janos was, and how easily brought he could be, he strips Harrenhal from Janos, and forcibly sends him to join the Night's Watch, along with the men he has suggested as replacements for his own position as Commander of the City Watch. He is replaced as Lord Commander of the Watch by Sir Jacelyn Bywater, though Tyrion believes that in getting rid of Slint for Bywater, he has merely replaced a man loyal to Peter Baelish with one loyal to Varys, but it did rid Tyrion of Janos. Janos' eldest son, Morris Slint, is now the Lord of House Slint, but it is unclear where their new lands would be situated. Tyrion's actions against Janos displease his sister, Queen Cersei Lannister. Peter Baelish, Littlefinger, cites Janos's fate when Tyrion offers him Harrenhal as a gift for his services to the crown, pointing out that Janos had received Harrenhal for the very same reason and yet wound up being forced to join the Night's Watch. Tyrion simply replies that he had no use for Slint and that's not true for Baelish. During the events of A Storm of Swords, not knowing that Renly Baratheon was now dead, Bowen Marsh of the Night's Watch sends an appeal to the kings of Westeros fighting the War of Five Kings, in which he asks for them to send men to help defend the Wall from the coming wildling army and expected attack by Mance Raider. He also tells them about the possible death of Lord Commander Mormont during the Great Ranging, given that by this time it would not be clear to Marsh the fate of those who had gone north with Mormont. Lord Tywin Lannister, annoyed about the neutrality of the Watch, suggests Janos Slint become the new Lord Commander as a Lannister ally which Tyrion objects to. 
Tywin orders Grand Maester Pycelle to write to Bowen in the name of King Joffrey, in which his demands for men are rejected for the time being, but instructs Pycelle to include his fondest regards to his faithful friend and servant, Lord Janos Slint. Tyrion regrets that he did not leave orders for Slint to be disposed of. Janos arrives at Eastwatch by the Sea, and while there, becomes friends with Sir Alistair Thorne. When Janos arrives at Castle Black after the battle beneath the wall, he hauls Jon Snow before him on charges of treason and oath breaking. He allies with Sir Alistair Thorne and Sir Glendin Hewitt, and has the wildling Rattleshirt confirm that Jon killed Corin Halfhand while ranging beyond the wall. Janos has Jon arrested and placed in an ice cell. After being prevented by Maester Aemon from hanging Jon, Janos sends Jon to assassinate Mance, hoping Jon would be killed in the process. However, Stannis Baratheon's army arrives and catches Mance before Jon can do this. Janos puts himself forth as a candidate to succeed Jorn Mormont as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, with the support of Sir Alistair Thorne and then later Bowen Marsh. Despite the fact that Slint had only been a member of the Watch, a matter of weeks at most, Janos also tries to persuade Stannis to support him. But Stannis' personal dislike for Janos over his corruption and his distaste for his flattery puts an end to it. Due to the rivalry between Cotter Pike and Sir Dennis Malister, Slint's chances improve, and his allies it seems like he could actually win the vote. However, in the end, Janos is defeated by the efforts of Samuel Tarly, who persuade Cotter and Dennis to support Jon Snow as a compromise candidate. During the events of A Feast for Crows, we learn that Janos is acting as an informant for the Lannisters. He informs the Lannister court in King's Landing of the events of the Wall, sending a letter to Grand Maester Pycelle telling of Stannis trying to make common cause with the Wildlings. Jon Snow, now Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, decides to give Janos command of an abandoned waycastle. Greyguard, in order to avoid Janos undermining his authority with his scheming and to separate him from his ally, Sir Alistair Thorne. However, Janos refuses to follow Jon's orders, first in private and then the next morning, refusing him publicly. Jon, tired of Janos' insubordination and knowing either imprisoning him or forcing him to go would only cause further problems, orders that Janos be taken to the top of the wall and hanged. The arrogant Janos threatens Tywin Lannister's retribution, unaware that by this time Tywin had died. As Janos protests, Jon changes his mind and orders his men fetch a chopping block so he can carry out the beheading himself under the laws of the first men his father had followed. Janos begs for mercy with his head on the block, but Jon quickly beheads him with Longclaw, a watching Stannis Baratheon approves of Jon's actions. Janos' accusations towards Jon before his death are remembered by some of the men of Castle Black hampering the new Lord Commander's support somewhat for a time, until we see the Winds of Winter. That is all we currently know of House Slint. Mm -hmm.